In the vast expanse of the Bay of Bengal lies North Sentinel Island, a lush, foreboding place that is home to one of the last uncontacted peoples on Earth, the Sentinelese tribe. Far removed from the modern world, these indigenous people have guarded their isolation fiercely, resisting any attempt at outside influence. Before we begin, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss new stories. And also, write a comment what story you would like to hear next. North Sentinel Island is a small, isolated landmass, which gained global attention due to the indigenous tribe known as the Sentinelese, who inhabit the island and have fiercely resisted contact with the outside world. North Sentinel Island is situated in the Andaman Sea. It is part of the Andaman and Nicobar Archipelago, an Indian territory. The island is relatively small, covering approximately 59.6 square kilometers, 23 square miles. The island is covered with dense tropical rainforest and its coastal areas are surrounded by coral reefs. The island's ecosystem is rich in biodiversity and its isolation has contributed to the preservation of unique flora and fauna. During the colonial era, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands were under British rule. The British attempted to establish contact with the Sentinelese but were met with resistance, leading to the decision to leave the tribe in isolation. In 1956, the Indian government declared North Sentinel Island a tribal reserve, recognizing the unique status of the Sentinelese and implementing laws to protect them from outside interference. North Sentinel Island stands as a symbol of the delicate balance between preserving cultural autonomy, respecting the rights of indigenous peoples, and navigating the ethical complexities associated with the desire for contact and understanding. Access to the island is strictly prohibited now, and a three-mile exclusion zone is enforced by the Indian Navy to prevent intrusions. The Sentinelese are among the few remaining tribes worldwide to have resisted contact with modern civilization. Estimates of their population vary, ranging from as few as 15 to as many as 150 individuals. The language and tools of the Sentinelese, glimpsed from a distance, suggest a people living in a time capsule, virtually unchanged for thousands of years. The Sentinelese have maintained a deliberate isolation, avoiding contact with the modern world. Their resistance to outsiders is evident through their hostile reactions to attempted visits. The island's isolation has shielded the Sentinelese from external influences, allowing them to preserve their unique way of life. The language spoken by the Sentinelese remains largely unknown. Linguists and anthropologists have been unable to decipher their language or fully understand their cultural practices. Little is known about their cultural traditions, rituals, and social structures as they have developed independently, secluded from external observations. The Sentinelese primarily adopt a hunter-gatherer lifestyle relying on fishing, hunting, and gathering in the rich biodiversity of their island. Limited glimpses suggest they use simple tools and weapons, showcasing a self-sufficient and sustainable approach to survival. The Sentinelese are known for their hostility toward outsiders. Numerous attempts at contact by explorers, anthropologists, and fishermen have been met with aggression. This defensive stance is believed to be a protective measure against potential threats, given historical encounters with exploitative outsiders. Recognizing the vulnerability of the Sentinelese to introduce diseases and the importance of preserving their unique culture, the Indian government has declared North Sentinel Island off-limits. Laws are in place to deter anyone from approaching the island, aiming to safeguard both the Sentinelese and the integrity of their isolated lifestyle. The Sentinelese face challenges to their survival, including potential threats from rising sea levels, natural disasters, and dwindling marine resources. Limited scientific knowledge about the island and its ecosystem adds an extra layer of complexity to understanding and addressing these challenges. The history of encounters with the Sentinelese tribe are exceptionally rare due to their strong hostility towards outsiders and their deliberate isolation. The tribe's resistance to contact has been a consistent characteristic throughout history, and various attempts by outsiders have resulted in violence. During the 19th century, British colonial administrators and explorers occasionally reported sightings of the Sentinelese from a distance. However, direct contact was limited, 
and the tribe's behavior indicated a clear desire to maintain their isolation. Maurice Vidal Portman, a colonial administrator, led an expedition to North Sentinel Iceland in 1896. He managed to make some contact with the Sentinelese, taking several individuals captive. However, due to a lack of understanding and the captives' deteriorating health, Portman released them back to the island. In 1974, a National Geographic film crew, led by documentary filmmaker T.N. Pandit, attempted to make contact with the Sentinelese. The encounters were brief and marked by the tribe's aggressive response, with Sentinelese individuals shooting arrows at the helicopter that carried the film crew. In the aftermath of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, helicopters were sent to check on the welfare of the Sentinelese, as the natural disaster could have affected their lives. And again, the tribe responded with hostility, shooting arrows at the helicopters to drive them away. Notable incidents include the killing of two fishermen in 2006, who drifted too close to the island. And in November 2018, an American missionary named John Allen Chow ventured to North Sentinel Island with the intent to convert the tribe to Christianity. Despite knowing the dangers and the illegality of approaching the island, Chow persisted. Unfortunately, he was killed by the tribe, highlighting the extreme risks associated with attempting contact. Despite external attempts to establish contact for various reasons, the tribe consistently defends their territory with force. The tragic death of John Allen Chow serves as a stark reminder of the risks involved in approaching this isolated community and underscores the importance of respecting their autonomy. The isolation of the Sentinelese raises complex ethical questions. While some argue for initiating contact to offer medical advancements and other benefits of modern life, the overwhelming consensus is in favor of non-interference, primarily to protect the tribe from diseases to which they have no immunity. The ethical considerations and controversies surrounding the Sentinelese tribe primarily revolve around the principles of respecting their isolation, preserving their autonomy and ensuring the protection of their well-being. The Sentinelese have chosen to remain isolated from the outside world, and this decision should be respected as an expression of their cultural autonomy. Introducing external influences could lead to the erosion of their unique way of life and belief systems. The Sentinelese are likely to lack immunity to common diseases prevalent in the outside world. Contact with outsiders could expose them to illnesses for which they have no natural defenses, potentially leading to devastating consequences. Respecting their isolation helps prevent unintentional harm. The Sentinelese tribe, like other uncontacted or voluntarily isolated groups, is entitled to the protection of their human rights. These rights include the right to live undisturbed, free from external interference, and the right to maintain their cultural identity. Unscrupulous individuals or entities might seek to exploit the Sentinelese, whether for commercial gain, research purposes, or other interests. Maintaining their isolation helps protect the tribe from potential exploitation and unethical practices. Any attempt to establish contact with the Sentinelese would require informed consent, which is practically impossible to obtain due to language barriers and the tribe's hostility. Without proper understanding and mutual agreement, any contact would be ethically questionable. The controversies arise when individuals or entities prioritize their own interests over the well-being and wishes of the tribe, potentially leading to irreparable consequences for this unique and isolated community. The Sentinelese tribe of North Sentinel Island serves as a poignant reminder of our planet's dwindling pockets of untouched humanity. Their fierce independence and the Indian government's protective stance underscore a collective acknowledgement in an age of overwhelming connectivity, the right to remain disconnected is a rare and precious freedom. As we ponder the existence of the Sentinelese, we are reminded of the vast spectrum of human experience and the importance of preserving such unique ways of life in the face of relentless modernization. Thank you for watching the video. If you have questions, write them in the comments. And also check out our channel, we have some more interesting videos.